What is good friends, we are back with another Smog 2 playoff series. We have ABR versus updated Kanto here. This is game one. They're starting with Auras. ABR brought a fatter wish killer type of team. Um, I see Kanto potentially putting in work with Metagross if it gets a Meteor Mash boost and if it has a Thunder Punch. So we do see Scummy vs. Zap this lead. ABR should switch into a Mungus or Chansey here. Obviously, he doesn't want to take uh, this charge with his Scummy turn one. So that's potentially going to be a double Calm Mind, uh, Kelly plus Slowbro on ABR's side. More like, yep, definitely if it's Death Scum with, uh, maybe Devog, like I know the original Wish Killer team doesn't have Devog, but on a fat team like this you get annoyed by Spike, so you should definitely have Devog. Um, I think Kanto is gonna have to Devog more in this, in this game anyway than ABR though, because, um, he has two months weak to rocks. And ABR might also have Spike on Skarmory. So ABR should switch into Chansey and not wanting to take a Heat Wave. And Kanto switches into Amungus not wanting to take a Spore on Zapdos. So Chansey can get up the rocks here. I assume Kanto is gonna switch into... Um, yeah, either Land or Metagross was gonna come out. So now uh, Kanto is gonna get his rocks as well. Oh, he's gonna U-turn out. Uh, I would go to Skarmory here if I was ABR because you don't want to uh, risk this Landorus having Toxic and poisoning your Slowbro, that would be really annoying. Uh, ABR is going to Scald here, but he he gets poisoned. Yeah, I don't like that play, I would have gone Skarmory instead. Um, now Kanto is going to U-turn into Amungus or Zapdos here as... I think ABR is just going to Scald again, trying to get another burn. Let's see if he, get the, if he gets the burn on the Among Us, he does not get the burn. So ABR is going to switch here into his own Among Us or Chansey. As we do see a double into Weaver breaking the Among Us. Nice play on Kanto's part, works out in his favor. So he can now knock off here, expecting the Kelly to come to come out and get rid of an item. Get rid of the most likely leftovers. And that is, I think, not Choice Bandit, that didn't do too much. So I'm not sure if it's Sash Weaver or Expert Belt, but it's not Orb and it's not Bandit. But yeah, Kelly is most likely gonna go for Scald here, trying to burn the Amungus that is just sitting in the back. And we all know, um, we all know burn is uh, kind of broken in Gen 6, right? So it does like 12%, so it does more than Black Slash can heal Amungus. Even though it has Regenerator, if ABI can also get up Spikes and can burn the Amungus, then Amungus gets run down a lot. I don't think there's any point in staying in for Kanto. Like, I know he can live a Scald with Weaver if he beats the Kelly to not go for Secret Sword, but I don't really see a point of that as he stays in, not sure why. Because, like, yes, you live the Scald, but you risk getting burned, and now you're in range from rocks. I'm not, I, I know you can still defog, but not the biggest fan of that play. I mean, now he's in range from rocks, so you might as well stay in and try to get the flinch on a Kelly. Uh, there's no point for ABR in switching out here, because if you go into Skarmory and you get then you take rocks, you take Icicle Crush, and then the next Icicle Crush might flinch you. So yeah, I would just stay in here and scald again. As he does get flinched, unfortunately. So I think ABI is just gonna sack his Kelly here. Uh, Kanto can just go for a knockoff here. Unless he doesn't want to risk the ABI going into Helmet Skarmory, but I think knockoff is fine here. You don't want to risk missing Icicle Crush after you got this flinch. So yeah, Ibiya is going to lose his Kelly here most likely, but it's not the end of the world for him, it's definitely fine. I mean, the play worked out for Kanto, but I'm still not the biggest fan of the play. But to be fair, this is uh, kind of a, kind of tough for Kanto. I mean, it depends on his Metagross set, if it's T-Punch, it can definitely put in some work. Especially if he gets the raids, like I said. So he goes in the Bishop, so he's either going to Sucker Punch here, or he is... Uh, Oh, he's Scarf Bishop. Okay, that makes sense too. It was Dread played be well. Okay, that that answers my question. What I knew well was. So now we're gonna see the the Kelly from Kanto's side or the Metal okay, Metagross. So that gives us information that it's most likely um, Power Punch or a Hammer Arm Metagross. And knockoff from Bishop doesn't do too much because um, obviously it doesn't get the boost that it gets when it knocks off an item because it's a Mega Mega Pokemon, obviously. Um, so knockoff is going to be maybe 45-50%, something like that. Mega Metagross is pretty bulky, um, yeah, 47, so it's going to die here to um, some sort of fighting move, exactly. Power Punch, so if this has Thunder Punch, is a big threat. Is uh, Skarmory or Slowbro going to come out here, most likely Skarmory. Yeah, the reason why Kanto went to Metagross over Kaleo is because he wants to keep his item, I get that. And Kaleo, actually, I don't know. I don't know if he even needs this item on Kelio. 
But his Kami does come out here. Um, maybe he's gonna go for maybe counter. If he doesn't have counter, he has to go for like whirlwind. There's the iron head, there's nothing, he gets a flinch. So if he has T-Punch now, that might kill and put in work for Kanto. Um, but I would think he doesn't have it. So like Abia is probably gonna roost here. Because if it has T-Punch, you die anyway. If it doesn't have T-Punch, you wanna keep your scum really healthy, right? So if Kanto doesn't have T-Punch, he's gonna switch here into Zapdos to Defog or Kelio to try and... No, no, Kelio wouldn't really accomplish much because Slowbro is already toxic, so you can't really try to burn that. So I think he's just gonna go Zapdos here and uh, Defog. And Abel's gonna roost. And uh, uh, if you have T-Punch, you can go for that, but I don't think he has it. So there's the Zapdos. There's the Roost, and let's get some leftovers with Kari. Zapdos can Defog here as Abel goes to Chansey or Amoongus. Uh -huh. That's just a Discharge, okay. Gets a para. The thing is, um, this Chansey is like, I think, Heal Bell, Seismic Toss, Stealth Rocks, Soft Bolt. That, there's it confirmed. Um, so it does not have, it does not have Toxic, which means Zapdos is going to be able to keep off Rocks. Um, the entire game, if it stays in. Like, I'm not sure why he goes Lando, and I think Kanto's going to get his Rocks here. Like, Rocks on both sides is not in Kanto's favor. Especially if, yeah, exactly there it is. Especially if the Skarmory also has spikes. You should just try to keep hazards off. But, well being dead and Metagross being weakened and most likely not having T Punch, like, I don't see how. I don't see how Kanto breaks ABR's team. ABR has that Regenerator Core, Chansey has Softball. And he might also have Defog on Skarmory if he really needs to get rid of the rocks on his side. So, um. We don't know the Slowbro, if the Slowbro is Calmant, but if the Slowbro is Calmant, that can definitely put in work for ABR and speed up this game. Otherwise, this game is going to take a fat minute. Um, because Kanto also has Region Among Us and Roost on Zapdos. But, yeah, ABR has like more longevity. In, like, all his mods have recovery moves, and two of them also have Regenerator. And on Kanto's side, only one mod has Regenerator, and only another one has Recovery. And the three other mods don't have any Recovery. And the, the Menagross is like almost dead and like it's not gonna put in much work. I'm sorry for the lags but for the lag by the way, my computer has been on like the entire day and also I'm sending a file to my man UB in the back, so yeah, let me close that real quick. I hope this will get rid of the lag. I'm gonna make sure um that there's not gonna be any lag in the in the next recordings. You can expect way more as two playoffs. I have like I'm planning to record all the Games live. I also have like old T series in the back. Snake series in the back. It's all gonna be coming next week, next month. But yeah, maybe I can pretty much stay in here or go to Amoongus. The only way like Kanto can put in work versus ABR is if he um if he catches Amoongus on a switch and Heatwave crits or Heatwave burns it. Most likely like he wants to burn the Amoongus with Zapdos on the Heatwave on with the Heatwave on a switch. But yeah, like I said, um, Kanto just has to default because like Spikes plus Rocks on his side is too annoying for him. Uh, maybe I can go for HP Fire here. As Kanto is going to do the same, most likely. And he gets a crit, so... I don't think Abia wants to stay in because, like I said... Um, what did he say then? Okay. I didn't think he would... Um, I thought he would want to keep his Amoongus like, super healthy. Okay, the double crit was unfortunate. Was it double crit on Abia's side? It was a double crit. Um, now nah, I just thought in case he ever pivots with Amoongus from from Chansey to Amoongus, I thought he wants to be healthy. But he obviously would have been more healthy if he didn't get double crit. So now I would go back to Amoongus if I was ABR just to get the regen. But it doesn't really matter staying as fine as well, I guess. So he's gonna seismic toss here, I assume. Also, okay, stays in. <laughs> okay. Guess I pricked that wrong and I'm a fool. Um, okay, yeah, now he gets the regenerator. I mean, he can just HP fire, but I would go... Yeah, exactly, I would just pivot back to get my Among Us healthy. Yeah, ABR is kind of PP stalling Kanto's Among Us here. Like, this is not the most interesting game, but I think ABR wins this in the long run. Uh, if it's slower has comment that can speed up the game. If it's not, we will sit here for a fat minute. <laughs> and as Kanto is going to defog here... Chance he can like seismic toss also doesn't put in that much work for ABR because Zapdos has the pressure ability that can um, that means Chance he only has I think 16 seismic toss I think seismic toss has 32 PP right 
I forgot the exact number, but Seismitos has a lot of PP. But yeah, Zapdos is gonna be able to um, PP stall the Chansey, kind of. But Zapdos is also like getting getting stalled out of discharges. Chansey is gonna softball here. Kanto goes into Landris and... Oh, he gets paralyzed, okay. So now ABS is gonna switch into Skarmory or Slowbro. Um, uh, Kanto obviously doesn't want to U-turn because he doesn't want to get... Um, doesn't want to take Rocky Helmet, but yeah, ABR has Defog, so there's no, the rocks are gone, gets the spikes back. So he spikes Defog, what, el what other move is ABR? Spikes Defog, Roost, Whirlwind, or Spikes Defog, Roost, Counter? I think it has to be Counter, right? Not 100% sure, but he's gonna softball up, and he can just Seismic Toss here, uh, because the lander showed that it has um, Toxic Rocks U-turn, the last move is most likely Earthquake, so it probably doesn't have knockoff, so Chansey was fine there, but staying, st staying in there was fine. Uh, Kanto Heatwave is trying to catch the Among Us on the switch. But yeah, if Zapdos runs out of Heatwave, as he catches the Among Us, gets a crit, that's what I was talking about earlier, he has to try to catch it on the switch, and, like crit burn it, but he only gets the crit, he doesn't get the burn. Uh, Kanto has a tough time, but that was uh, that worked out for him there. Chansey's gonna softball up here. Um, there's no need to risk anything. Like going back to Among Us, that would have been unnecessarily risky. I guess maybe I could go for rocks and try to f um, make Kanto defog, but it's too risky to go into Among Us this turn because I would potentially heat wave here if I was Kanto. Yeah, he does make the play between the Among Us, but he doesn't get the crit, so Among Us eats that up. So he's gonna go back to uh, Chansey. This kind is gonna defog. Wow, he didn't defog. Now he's gonna defog his ABR. This time catches him and killing Among Us in on, an boost on a turn that is not an attack, so Among Us can now regen and is super healthy again. And this is what ABR wants, and the yeah, ABR is in the control. ABR should have the game. It's just gonna take forever. Um, and this, he has a comment, like I said. And. Also, they might be playing fast, and I might be in the back because I'm not skipping turns. Um, I think it's like quite important to like show every turn. Like some of the turns are like obvious, so the players might just be clicking super fast. As Kanto can go for Roost here. Maybe it goes into Mungus, which is definitely smart because if he stays in and spams Seismic Toss, he just gets stalled off a Seismic Toss. There's no point in doing that, so he's just gonna go um, for either. In power or back in the Chansey. Chansey can get the rocks back up, even though there's not really a point in doing it because the Zapdos has more Diva PP. Okay, exactly. Zapdos is gonna sh like Zapdos should roost. Yeah. I can't already said GG, so either he forfeited or ABR um had some sort of setup sweep, but in slow rope most like slow is like his only setup sweep, right? Potential. So we do see ABR is most likely going to go back to his Chansey here. Yeah. So now ABR can go for either back to Among Us on the spawn or for, go for softball with the Chansey here. I guess his rocks up, okay. I thought he would sh should. Like, it's, that was a fine play as well, but I thought he wanted to keep it super healthy. So now ABR can go for Hidden Power Fire here, within the opposing Among Us to come out. Get some chip. So they're going to exchange Hidden Power Fire here for a bit. And eventually they're gonna switch back out to get regenerator. But ABI has the chance he just comes in easily on HP fire. You can also go slower one of these turns because uh, Kanto is never clicking Giga Drain on um, an ABR's Among Us. Unless he's a genius <laughs> and predicts it correct. But yeah, I would switch out here if I was ABR, right, to get the region. I can't, no, no, Kanto has to switch out, what am I saying? Kanto was lower, I wasn't even paying attention as to how low, like, Kanto's, AB, Kanto's Among Us was super low, I didn't even realize. So he bits back in the zap to see breaking the Skarmory to come out, right? And maybe I shouldn't stay in here, obviously. Should just go into Among Us or Chansey. As he discharges, and Chansey should softball here. The only way Kanto can predict can prevent the softball is if he discharges again, gets a powerful para. Doesn't even try it. Okay, I mean, yeah, this this game's over. But so like Kanto either just forfeited, like I said, or maybe I had like a comment on Slurbo. Let's see. Like I'm like super behind because I had said GG like a minute ago or two minutes ago. I'm still not gonna skip the turn. I want to see every single turn. 
so back to Chansey we go, I guess. <laughs> Knight just stays in and spores. I thought I thought Kanto would uh, go with Onomungus there, okay. I, I think Kanto's Among Us was quite low, but it was not in range from Hidden Power 5. But yeah, now Slo Zapdos is asleep. Oh yeah, Slowbro is also not toxic anymore. Okay, so now, so now everything makes sense. Like, he let his Slowbro get toxic earlier, but he has heal on Chansey, so he doesn't care about that. So that was probably Scarf Kelly with Toxic, and yeah, Slowbro just kills the Kelly with Psy Shock. And since Zapdos is asleep, Zero gets another kill. Um, if he breaks the U-turn into Among Us, he clicks Psy Shock and gets a kill on the Among Us. Okay, just using the Zapdos. Yeah, he Psy Shocks in case he goes Among Us. And if Zapdos doesn't wake up here, Slowbro gets the kill and the game ends, yeah. Yeah, that's why, okay, okay. So now we see why he forfeited. Thank you guys for watching, we will be back with game 2 in a second. Maybe I up 1 0 versus Kanto, Smoke this Playoffs. Stay tuned for way more Smoke this Playoffs games as well. Smash that like button if you want to see more. I know this wasn't the most interesting game because it's like <laughs> the fat team, like. But oh well. Peace out, friends. <laughs>